झूठा हेल्थ केयर लिमिटेड भारतीय रिटेल फार्मेसी लैंडस्केप को फिर से परिभाषित करने के लिए तैयार ग्रुप सीईओ डॉक्टर सुजीत पॉल मुंबई फार्मास्यूटिकल न्यूट्रास्यूटिकल और आयुर्वेदिक दवा निर्माता झोटा हेल्थ केयर लिमिटेड ने 5 अप्रैल को मुंबई प्रास क्लब में भारतीय स्वास्थ्य सेवा और झोटा हेल्थ केयर देव इंडिया अहेद विषय और भारतीय रिटेल फार्मेसी परिदृश्य को फिर से परिभाषित करने के वर्ष 2023 में इसके लक्ष्यों को लेकर एक प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस आयोजित की झोटा हेल्थ केयर लिमिटेड के ग्रुप सी डॉक्टर सुजीत पॉल ने संवाददाताओं को झोटा हेल्थ केयर दवा इंडिया के दृष्टिकोण और वर्ष 2023 के लिए भारतीय खुदरा फार्मेसी परिदृश्य को फिर से परिभाषित करने के लक्ष्यों के बारे में जानकारी दी डॉक्टर पॉल ने आने वाले वर्षों में उभरते स्वास्थ्य सेवा क्षेत्र में झोटा हेल्थ केयर लिमिटेड की भूमिका के बारे में विस्तार ऐसी बताया उन्होंने मेडिसिन इंडिया के मिशन देश में स्वास्थ्य देखभाल व्यय में वृद्धि विभिन्न संस्थानों में स्वास्थ्य देखभाल की स्थिति में बदलाव और भारत में जेनरिक दवाओं के बारे में जागरूकता सहित महत्वपूर्ण विषयों पर अपने विचार व्यक्त किए योर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉज दैट इफ द हाई क्वालिटी जेनरिक मेडिसिन एट सच लो कॉस्ट एम आर पी देन हाउ डू सस्टेन वेरी वेरी रैशनल क्वेश्चन our internal cost structures are very low and since our internal cost structures are low and we optimize so what it means is that at a company level our profitability decreases so meaning which if a branded medicine costs say for example 1000 rupees the dawa india generic medicine would be way lower in terms of cost of that and at the end of the day it benefits the end consumer or patient if you are a consumer it could definitely benefit you and 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 you become healthy much faster with a lower cost outflow so how do we sustain is that we manage our internal ecosystem uh, our supply chain management our information technology our people costs our infrastructure costs and our profitabilities which are well managed and there is a very thin line of profitabilities that we maintain so that's the answer for your first question your second question is that at times you feel that the the prices of medicines i i assume you are talking of branded medicines that's my assumption are very high that's what you said so there is where the generic medicine comes in picture and that is what i said in the in the opening statement that why do you think that it is important for this kind of sessions because media and press are the biggest power and tool for any country whether it's developed country developing country for any kind of news and information and right media right press can change the ecosystem of the country it is time that all of us get into that driver of change and you will not understand that pain unless you have your parents your children who cannot afford the day you understand that your parents are part of this ecosystem who cannot afford you go to the end village who do not have money even to eat food from where do they get money to buy medicines and there is where my appeal to media is that you play a critical role to build the ecosystem of change as a driver because at times you may not understand the pain that the last mile villager actually undergoes i have worked in the last mile villages to see what kind of tears rolls out when the costs are high many of you will echo with me some of you would agree if you have seen those kind of people so there is where the generic medicine comes into place but it should be of a desired quality it should of be of good quality and there is where dawa india plays a massive critical role where we are changing the face of the healthcare ecosystem the way medicines are consumed and there is where it is important that the end consumer or patient understands the power of good quality generic medicines next question please right okay uh, can i answer you in english or you want me to answer in hindi okay so your question is that for one specific element why there are different kind of medicines been recommended and why not one medicine now i'll take this question in two different parts there are certain elements where you need multiple medicines to get cured 
So they, there is no two ways about it. But there, there could be a possibility where there could be a reduction of medicine that could be given. Now, why you are given 10 different kind of medicines that only whosoever is giving or the physician or the clinician can answer. But what have to be consumed based on the right clinical practice is what is important. For example, if someone is unwell but someone is weak, someone is having a dysentery, there are three different kind of medication molecules that may have to be given for the need of the body. I think the answer is, is much deeper. The answer is that, is there a possibility to have less medicine consumption in India? Probably you are trying to ask that and more from antibiotic kind of scenario. Now, if you see anyone who is unwell or anyone who is having a throat problem, usually take antibiotics. I'm not, I'm, I'm trying to be careful in using the brand names. Now, there are scenarios where it could be relieved at a lesser medicine also. However, it all depends on the physician or the clinician whom, who is recommending to you. So it, it, it is not a direct question for generic medicines, but it is, it is more of a question for the physician who is recommending you the various kinds of medicine. There are good physicians also who recommend less medicine. So it, it all depends on that physician. Next, please. Sure. Distribution network plays a very, very critical role for this kind of distribution when you operate at A, B, C, CAT kind of locations. As of now, we have a central distribution network that operates and the central distribution network operates on an AI tool based on the ROL, the reorder levels. So for example, what happens, and our, our primary customers are definitely chronic. So when it's a chronic kind of patient, usually you'll understand that there are well planned medication that goes through. For example, if someone takes a cardiac medicine, so then there is a well-planned cardiac medication that goes through every month. So in that way, what happens is that at a central distribution management and at a store level when the ROL drops, for example, if, if the transit time is X days, assuming that if, if the store is somewhere in eastern eastern part of the country and the transit time from the distribution channel is 10 days, then there is a reorder level been maintained on that and based on that reorder level the movement happens. We keep our cost structures as lean as possible but with the kind of scale up that we are growing we will have zonal distribution also that will reduce the pace and movement of the materials that goes through. Your first question is that uh, so called rich people have a mindset that uh, branded medicines are of high quality and generic medicines are low quality. That is a perception that people have. That perception is not true, definitely, as you yourself stated the point. There are high quality generic medicines as what we see in Dawa India. But your question has a deeper meaning that how do we change that thought process? Change is always painful. And that is where, where each one of you can play a critical role towards building this change. This change is not for you. This change is not for me. This change is for those people, for those ecosystem that actually should offer good high quality generic medicines. Now, there was a time when you used to go to tailor and collect money from the bank. Am I right? So you never thought that you'll go to a machine and you know collect the, collect the cash. But today, how many times do you go to the tailor? You don't go to the tailor at all. You don't, don't go and take a token. Do you take a token? You don't take a token, right? There was a time that all of us had uh, landline telephones in the home, right? And uh, today, hardly probably anyone have those fixed landlines. Some of us may have, but the, the evolution has changed in the last 10, 15 years. Change is very, very painful. And when we are bringing and building this change, there is where I, I whenever I speak, I keep on saying that, each one of you will be a major contributor. See, what happens is that at a journalism space, there are various kinds of news that each one of you cover. Now, my urge and plea to all of you would be that these kind of news can actually change the face how healthcare ecosystem operates. This can save someone else's life. This can save someone else's father, mother, husband, wife. This news has so much amount of power that this can actually rebuild India the way healthcare actually perceives generic medicine. And there is where each one of your help and contribution
towards understanding and rebuilding Indian healthcare ecosystem for the generic medicine comes into place. Coming to your second question, that your second question was that poor people feel that generic medicine is the only option, but unavailability is the issue in the country. Absolutely agreed. We have huge unavailability of good quality generic medicines, and there is where again the India plays a very critical and crucial role. We have more than 2,200 molecules across the major therapeutic segments, so that all the major therapeutic segments are well covered. And there is the reason why we are spreading ourselves so much deeper across the country. Now we are already present in most of the CAT A's. Now we are going to CAT B's and CAT C's is the next venture move. So along with that, we will also go to, go to the villages and towns. So we are, we are penetrating deeper and deeper to ensure that wherever, if it is required, there is a Dawa India store and people can actually go and get high quality generic medicines and all the desired molecules are available there. So that would answer your second part of the question and eradicate the perception and issue of availability that we are facing at this point of time in the country. Okay. So your question is more of a CSR. So your question is what kind of charity the, the, the country the company does for poor people. Now there is since since definitely you know we are we are uh, company of our own stature, there are multiple CSRs that we do. We run programs where at a last mile level we work with people to ensure that we hand over uh, desired medicines that is required for, for people. We also work in scenarios where if a specific segment of people do not have medicines to, to consume, then we at times you know, offer them free medicines. But for any organization of private nature, there will be a level till which they can do charity. Because at the end of the day, they also need to run the organization. So it goes hand in hand. There is a huge CSR wing that we run. And the CSR does its own work to ensure that it also builds the ecosystem towards keeping the country healthy. However, I'll take your first part of the question about uh, the quality. If you recall back last 15, 20 minutes that I'm speaking, I think one point that I've always emphasized is high quality medicine at cost effective price. So that is what I have been continuously harping. So whatever medicines that, that we offer to the end consumer, these are all manufactured by the highest quality manufacturing units, which are well registered. So these have its own quality control mechanisms. These are large manufacturing units, which are part of the entire QC mechanism. And there is a quality control been built up across. Typically, that is the reason I have uh, continuously been, been speaking that these are very, very high quality medicines that we offer. Many of you here who have consumed the India medicines, they know the kind of quality and efficacy. I, I know that people who have consumed where there is no compromise to quality at all. However, your second part of the question is that then how do you people really manage profitability is because the cost structures and the MRPs are lower. That's exactly what I stated at the first, is that we operate at a very, very thin line. That's exactly also what I answered when I spoke about supply chain management, that we operate at a lean supply chain management and information technology management. I also did mention that we operate at an AI module so that the ROLs are being well managed. So yes, our profitabilities would definitely be lower because the MRPs are lower. But I think the larger story is what we are trying to build in India. And when you actually aspire to build a much larger story, then I think eventually everything else becomes a revolution. Okay, so when you speak about innovations, primarily what we have done is that we have, our, our only simple motto is that we will hand over high quality health and wellness to the end consumer. So when I say health and wellness, now I spoke so long primarily on health. And when I say I spoke on health, I spoke primarily on medicines. Now along with medicines also comes a section of wellness. COVID have taught us that during the COVID time, many of you have started taking a uh, lot of wellness medicines, lot of medicines that would keep you more, more healthier, so on and so forth. 
So the entire innovation structures that we have built now is around health and wellness, which comprises an uh, array of medicines and we, uh, which also comprises an array of entire wellness and health segments. For example, we have a series of products that will ensure to keep someone much more healthy than what they are, which will keep them much more stronger, much more vital than what they are. We have a series of products for men, women and children along with Ayurvedic, along with the similar kind of health booster, uh, health booster med medications of health and wellness. In totality, there is a large level of innovation that has been built and focused on wellness as well to keep you more healthy than only consume the medicine. For example, if, okay, I'll give a simple example, for example, paracetamol. Paracetamol as a molecule, if it's needed for you, then it is part of some research that the paracetamol molecule is there. And paracetamol can be paracetamol, it cannot be something else. So your question is, how is the winder different from other generic? Sure, I, I got it. Okay, got it. So you have two questions. How is Dawa India different from other generic companies? So Dawa India is only private generic chain in the country that have all the medicines that you see in the Dawa India stores with Dawa India name. So, so we are 100% private label. So you go to any other generic store, you can clearly understand that they are not, not into the 100% PL. So, so what it clearly means is that we not only have a very strong enforcement of the quality part of it, but we also ensure that whatever products that you get from our store are our products. So we are very, very careful about, about the quality and the efficacy of the medical stream. However, you had a second part of uh, the question, why are the physicians not writing generic medicines? There are mandates by the government of India that the physicians should write by the molecules and not by the brands, but I think it will take some more time for the end physician to get into a complete conversion of that. Till such time, the end consumers and the patients are becoming much more knowledgeable now, and they are themselves understanding the power of generic medicines. Okay. Uh, as of now, as I speak, we have 100 stores across the country with a company-owned, company-operated number. The 100 store is, is just yet to open. So precisely, we'll have 99 stores as a company-owned, company-operated. The 100 store is opening uh, coming Monday in, in Gulbarga, in Karnataka, Bangalore. Uh, we also have 500 franchises in the country. So in totality, we have close to around 600 odd stores that the country have. Your second part of the question is the expansion plans. Right. So in terms of expansion plan, we have a major expansion plan all across. Recall my statements, what I stated a while ago. We are expanding in CAT A, B, C, and as well as the villages and the towns. So we would be scaling our expansion into 3x in the coming financial year, followed by the, the much larger scale ups. But more than the scale ups, it is more that where we are positioning ourselves, uh, we are positioning where people need medicines and where we envisage that there should be at least one good Dawa India store so that the end consumer can actually come and you know buy the medicines from there.